Do you want to know when exactly to expect your next period? I am about to show you a very simple way to calculate your menstrual cycle length so that you can take control of your family planning, your fertility, and your monthly schedule. Hello guys, my name is Dr. Raisha and this is the fertility series with Dr. Raisha. Now today I want to show you how to calculate your menstrual cycle length. What do you understand when you hear the term menstrual cycle length? When I ask most ladies, they tell me that theirs is two days, four days, five days, one day. But no, your menstrual cycle length does not refer to the number of days through which you bleed. So you're having your period for two days. Your menstrual cycle length is not two days. Menstrual cycle length is the number of days in between the first day you receive your period to the last day before you receive your next period period and it is normal for women to have their menstrual cycle length in between 21 to 35 days so if your menstrual cycle length is in between 21 days 22 days 25 days 27 days 32 days that is normal but if it is less than 21 days or more than 35 days, maybe you receive your period after every 40 days, then that is not normal. So we have a woman here, let us call her X and let us calculate her menstrual cycle length. So this woman received her period on this day. So this was day one of her period. Then this was day two, day three, day four. So she was bleeding then this was day five. Then now her period stopped. But then now she received her next period. Now let us continue. So this was day six. This was day seven, day eight, day nine, day 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Then now she receives her next period here. So now how do we calculate her menstrual cycle length? We have said that your menstrual cycle length is the number of days in between the first day you receive your period, which is day three here, to the last day before you receive your next period. So she received her next period here. So here she is bleeding. So the last day before this is day 30. So the number of days in between there from day one, we've calculated 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. So the number of days in between this and this is 28 days. So this woman has a menstrual cycle length of 28 days. I want you to note that there is a difference between menstrual cycle length and period length. You see that this woman was bleeding on day three here. That was her first day. Then she continued bleeding. She was bleeding. She was bleeding. She was bleeding. And then her period stopped. But now we say her period length is one, two, three, four, five. So she has a period length of five days. But her menstrual cycle length. Now we continue. If this was day five of her menstrual cycle length, now we'll continue by saying the next day, even if she do, does not have her periods, now this will be day six of her cycle length, day seven, day eight, and like that, and like that. Are you, are you, are you getting? Now let us look at another woman who started her period on day three here, but then now her next period started on, uh, let's say day 24. So this, now she starts bleeding on this day. So this is day one of her next cycle. So here, okay, this is day one, day one of her next cycle. So she starts bleeding there. So we, we, are, we are going to say, now, menstrual cycle length, the first day of your period to the last day, this day here, before your next period. So it's going to be day one, two, three, four, 
five, she stops bleeding, but we continue her cycle. Day six of her cycle, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So you see that this woman has a cycle length of 21 days. And this reminds me of these women who say that they get their periods twice in a month. You can see this woman, let us call her uh, Y. Now, Y had her period on day three, and then she got her next period on day 24. So it is very easy for Y to become tense, like, why am I having my periods twice in a month? But you see that her cycle length falls in between the normal cycle length. So it does not matter if you get them twice a month, so long as they are falling within the normal cycle length of 21 days to 35 days. You see, even this one, she has a 28-day cycle, but from day three, then day 31, it's also twice in a month. So guys, that is how you calculate your menstrual cycle length. It is as easy as that. Let me know in the comment section down below. Have you understood how to calculate your menstrual cycle length? And I want you guys to subscribe because now from here we are going to learn how to use now your menstrual cycle length that we have calculated to calculate your safe days, your ovulation days, your fertile window. If you have a regular cycle or an irregular cycle, we are going to understand all of these things. So subscribe. And if you like this video, please do not forget to give it a thumbs up.